natural forest. Nature where man has hardly set foot. These forests do still exist. The story of a tree in the natural forest may last a thousand years. It starts with the ripening of the seed and ends with the final rotting of the tar-soaked heart of the root. It will be a good seed year for the northern pine. The two previous summers have been warm and the cones will open in the spring sun to sow their seed harvest. In the natural forest, death brings life. The forest is renewed both by small and large scale destruction. The fall of one tree brings habitat to be competed for, while a fire may burn a wide swathe of forest. Somewhere far, far away, people are fighting, farming, trading, and living their lives. The new millennium is at hand. These northern expanses are not yet inhabited. A few lapish villages are drops in the boundless sea of forest created by the trees. sapling is in good soil. It strives upwards towards the forest canopy and light. The width of its annual growth ring is many times that of the giant old trees around it. In the marsh, growth is different. The wrist-thick marsh pine may be a couple of hundred years old. The pine's first 100 years can be considered as its wild youth. Only later does its growth begin to slow. Now it is massive, 20 meters tall. A stand of birch, which has sprung up as a result of a forest fire, begins to rot after a hundred years. Rotting wood always brings additional color to the forest. Many people call this forest the backwoods, but the real backwoods is a swampy wilderness dominated by firs. The severe winter along the brook has killed these bog firs where they stand. It means a feast for the agents of decay.
At 300 years old, the pine has matured. It no longer grows taller and has started to die at its heart. Nevertheless, the story is just beginning. Fire kills all the firs and some of the pines. The old pine suffers nothing more than charred bark and burn scars. It's still alive, although its growth is infinitesimal. It's a part of forest nature where there are trees of all ages and creatures from the microscopic to large mammals, hunters and prey. hundred years after the fire, its traces can still be clearly seen. Dominant trees which have suffered from the fire die and yield habitat. The new young pines which germinated after the fire rise into the light. Columbus finds the new world around the time when the pine finally dies. With its last strength, it erupts resin from its trunk, trying to defend itself against insects and decay. The beak of the black woodpecker can defeat it though, and later other woodpeckers too.
mature forest is a prerequisite of life for the golden eagle. Only an old, strong branch stalwart is suitable for nesting. The pine is dead. It has dried standing. Its wood is dry through and through, hard red pine inside. One cycle is complete. A new tree generation germinates in the soil churned by the roots. It will take 150 years for the roots to decay. But even now, the story of this tree is not yet over. The tarry wood softens slowly during these decades when Finns and Laps argue about who has the right to live in these expanses. From the same forest, a few straight pine trunks end up as building timber for Finnish settlers. On a summer day, the smell of smoke from clearing fires is borne on the wind. Just as surely as timber which falls to the ground will rot, it will become home to tens if not hundreds of different species of fungi and insects. They each take their own share when the stage of decay of the tree is appropriate for them. And each species has its own place in the life cycle of other species. The thick mixture of fir and aspen is the home forest of the flying squirrel.
the aged decaying pine feeds the forest ecosystem to the end. It will give up all the nutrients it has drawn from the soil and transport it up toward the light. It never owned them, only borrowed them. The millennium is drawing to a close. Somewhere else, decisions are being made on the protection of old forests. Some summers, the bear wanders on the slope. As it passes, it digs up a lump of moss where the tree trunk can still be seen as a low hump. A pine seed is carried to this patch. Another forest saga is once again beginning. <laughs> 